Qatar and Egypt inked double taxation exemption deal to boost investments. Thousands of children in Iran are all set to receive education following a new agreement. A U.S. report argues that COVID-19 was likely caused by a Wuhan lab leak and the world's top paddle players are in town. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar and Egypt signed a deal to eliminate double taxation on income and prevent tax evasion or avoidance. The agreement is in line with Egypt's efforts to promote both domestic and foreign investments in order to boost economic production, an official said. Egypt is relying on investments and support that were promised by Qatar and other Gulf nations last year to ease a foreign exchange crisis. Doha and Cairo have been engaging more over the last few months after both countries resumed diplomatic ties in 2021. Egypt joined Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Bahrain to impose blockade on Qatar back in 2017. And now Qatar Fund for Development has signed an MOU with Iran to oversee a project that provides educational opportunities to nearly 25,000 Iranian children and Afghan refugees across the country. The project also involves the education above all foundation and aims to overcome obstacles faced by children in accessing quality primary education. The three-year-long project will work to build and equip new schools and classrooms, promote social cohesion and target communities, and even provide cash assistance to families. And now now in health, the COVID-19 pandemic was most likely the result of a lab leak. A recently updated classified report from the United States Department of Energy argued the judgment for the most recent report was made with, quote, low confidence and was based on new intelligence, the journal said. However, it agrees with the FBI, which previously said the virus likely spread following a laboratory accident. Despite this, scientists believe the virus was spread from animal to human contact.